All right, what's up, guys? This is Shalom, and uh, this one we're going to talk about the differences between northern and southern Nigeria. That's what we're going to talk about. So, most of the time when people meet me and I say I'm Nigerian, typically there's always one stereotype. Or let's just say a group of stereotypes that everyone's met some Nigerian somewhere in the world and they think that's who every Nigerian is. Well, even within Nigeria, I mean, we have over 200 dialects, but there are typically three major tribes that you'll hear about. The Hausa, the Igbo, and the Yoruba. So we're going to break that down a little bit. Now, most of the time, I tell people this, over 90% of the time when you meet a Nigerian, especially overseas, over 90% of the time, they're probably Igbo or Yoruba. So I found that a lot of the stereotypes and the things that people say about Nigerians or the languages and, and their descriptions, the names, they're Often, most of the time, you know, Igbos or Yorubas, and really Hausa people. Because, um, as you're going to find out, Hausa people were not as traveled as Yorubas and Igbos. You'll find more more Yorubas and Igbos in, in across the world than you will find northern. So, northern Nigeria is primarily comprised of, for generalization purposes, houses. Um, that's the north. The south is Igbos and Yorubas. So anytime someone talks about coming from Lagos or Bedo or Benin, typically, you know, they're, they're, they're southern Nigerian. And the north, it comprises of, you know, your Bochis, Kanos, Kadunas, and so on and so forth. Um, northern and southern Nigeria is very different. Okay, not just in our languages, but in our clothing, often in our food, it, it's very different. So, I'm Hausa, generally speaking. I'm from the north. So, you know, Hausas are, are much different, in, like I said, in terms of our food, our, some of our cultural differences, our languages. You know, there, there, there are... Um, a lot more Muslims in the north. Most of the Muslims in Nigeria come from the north. Um, and so you often have to understand the, these differences to understand the differences, you know, between these Nigerians. Um, so I've just found that along the years, when I meet most people, tell them I'm Nigerian and you know, oh, do you know Olua this or Femi this? And it's like, no, we, we come from very different areas, very different tribes, and uh, very different stereotypes. Now, talking about the stereotypes, right? Um, Northerners, you know, we're known to be more, a lot more soft spoken religiously Muslim, um, culturally a lot more for, for just for, um, to help you relate a little bit better, uh, a lot more Middle Eastern in the way they do things, you know, um, that also has a huge part to do with the Muslim influence. So you'll see the influence very well. Uh, in the north than you would, you know, ever in the south. Um, our names are often the first thing that will give it up. If you told me any Nigerian's name, I could probably tell you where they come from. These divisions are not seen by most of the, the rest of the world, but if you're Nigerian, you know these differences exist, and you know that uh, there's 
sometimes often some tension between the two. Um, and I do specifically state that I'm from northern Nigeria to um, help understand and help someone understand kind of where I'm coming from, right? Um, like I said, it's very different. I don't know what it's like to grow up in southern Nigeria. Uh, growing up, I rarely went to the south. Um, most of my life was spent in northern Nigeria. Um, however, I have obviously interacted with tons of southern Nigerians. Um, but I'm making this to say, you know, there are differences. And um, most of the rest of the world doesn't know about these. But for Nigerians, we are very aware of our differences and um, these are deeply rooted, you know, back to, you know, before the country became, uh, it, it, before we became a federal republic, you know, down to, you know, if you look at the first leaders of the federal republic of Nigeria, um, these tensions were very much uh, brought to light with you know different assassinations of certain leaders between certain tribes and leadership and to this day you can still see it in the way uh, our government is ruled being that if you have a northern president you have to have a southern vice president mm -hmm. if you have a southern vi uh, president then you have to have a northern vice president this is to bring stability to the country um, because of those huge differences and so they are real we are different and i know some people will comment about oh this is just separating us as nigerians but the reality is those differences are there and um, you know even beyond the borders of nigeria um, i do find that even relating with people here in the United States, there's often some light tension, sometimes very evident tension um, about me being from the north and then being from the south. You know, we the, this Southerners across all diasporas, they're a very tight knit community. So for me as a northern Nigerian immigrant to the United States, I even found it hard to connect even with Nigerian communities here in the States because most of them are predominantly Southern. So the Igbos and Yorubas, they stick together. And because we're such a minority, Northern Nigerians in the States and most diasporas, uh, our communities are very small and it's difficult to tap into those other communities. That's what I found. Um, and so it's still very real to me. That's why I, I still probably say I'm Northern Nigerian because, uh, you know, that's just the reality of what it is. Um, and so, yeah, for most people who aren't aware of that, that is a real thing. And yeah, I'll give more insight on being Northern Nigerian because that's what I know. You know, Hausa, um, that's generally where you'll find Northern Nigerian speaking, Hausa is the, is the common thread, the language. Uh, and so, yeah, that's some of the differences, I guess, part one of Northern and Southern Nigeria.